Hi friends. This week is all about analytics and I wanted to come and talk to you about a recent experience I've had and so I would venture to believe that any of you who review your website or social media analytics on a even semi-normal basis will understand that it's a great way to learn from your audience and when they're engaging, what they're engaging with, and it's a great way to stay in tune with that. And so I look at mine typically weekly, and when I looked at my Instagram analytics recently, it said that my audience was engaging at 9 a.m. So if you know anything about me, you know I'm a morning person, and I typically get my Instagram post for the day pushed out early in the morning, so generally around 7 a.m. So when I was thinking about 9 a.m., that's a big change for me, and it would impact my day in a significant manner. So when I was looking at this, I, I obviously want to cater my, to my audience, but I also have to think about my schedule. And so that's really what I wanted to talk to you about today and to say that analytics can be huge for your business. You can make great strides in your business just by making small changes that are suggested due to the numbers. When you look at your Instagram analytics or Facebook or website, whatever the case may be, but you also have to think about your schedule and how it impacts you. So for me, I decided I was going to try posting at 9 a.m. for a month and see how it impacts my schedule and how much it impacted my actual performance on Instagram. And so at the end of the, at the, end of the month, I actually increased my profile views by 30%. That's just one of the numbers that Instagram gives you. I'm not gonna rattle off all of my Instagram analytics to you. But that was just one that I thought, you know, that's significant enough to keep trying. And so my challenge to you in this weekly blog post is that you look at your analytics, but you also look at how it impacts your schedule. If you are someone who is in control of your social media or your website, and you don't have someone hired to do that, you really have to take into consideration how it impacts your schedule as well. And so I don't have a magic number to give you in terms of what the um, significance of if it's over or under a certain percent of an increase, then that's the magic number. It really has to feel right to you, but I will give you a process. So number one, I would love for you to be looking at your Instagram, Facebook, social media, in general, website analytics on a weekly basis. If you can't do that, try it monthly. It's completely fine. And capture that information somehow because you're not going to remember it. Trust me, I've tried and I thought, oh, I'll remember exactly how many followers I had next week. Well, there's a lot that happens in a week or a month. You won't remember it. So use a dashboard service or capture it in a Google Doc. It doesn't matter. Take screenshots. However you can, capture that information. And then number two, look at it week over week or month over month and, and see what your audience is telling you. The numbers don't lie, so look at those numbers. And for me, it was 9 a.m. was better than 7 a.m. So make that small change would be the third thing. Pick one thing and change the one thing and then monitor that for about a month and then once you're looking at that week over week or for at least a month, then I want you to really be tracking how that's impacting your schedule as well. So while you're doing that, I want you to be looking at your schedule and how it's affecting your productivity. And then the fifth thing is just to make a determination at the end of that month. Was it enough? Did it make enough of an impact to impact, to make it worth it to impact your day? I hope that helps. And again, these aren't hard and fast numbers or anything, but I hope it helps you understand that analytics are so important to be looking at, but your schedule and your sanity is even more important. So you have full permission um, to look at things like that and make determinations based on your business. I hope that helps you, and I look forward to talking to you next week. See ya.